It's a poster for Metatron's latest stage performance, a tragic tale of two star-crossed lovers, kept apart by the tides of fate. Looks like it's almost time for the performance. Oh, God. Oh! That human! Could it be? My one true love. Oh, my God. King forbid your stay humans must live far apart even if oh, I can walk around it breaks my heart oh my god they'll put you in the dungeon fucking petals Really? It'll suck! <laughs> and then you'll die a lot. Really sad. You're gonna die. Cry, cry, cry. Oh my god. Can I run in circles? So sad it's happening. So sad. So sad that you are going to the dungeon. Well, toodles. Oh. Oh no! Whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with puzzles so dastardly, my paramour would surely perish. Oh wow. Wait, he's the fucking machine that didn't work, isn't he? Oh, heaven's mercy, the horrible color tile maze! Each color tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile annoys, and then you must fight. Sounds a noise, then you must fight an answer. Red tile! Actually, wait a second. Didn't I see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? That's right, you remember all the rules, don't you? Great, then I won't waste your time repeating them. Oh, and you better hurry, because if you don't get through in 30 seconds, you'll be incinerated by these jets of fire! Aha! So filled with grief, I can't stop loving you. Good luck, darling. Really? Like you're out of time. Oh, here comes the flames, darling. <laughs> They're closing in. Getting closer. Oh my! Any minute now. Robotic cough. Ring. Watch out! I'll save you. I'm hacking into the. F wow. Oh no! How could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alphys! That- That's right! Come on, Metaton! Give up already! You'll never be able to defeat us! Not as long as we work together! Your puzzle's over, now go home and leave us alone! Puzzle? Over? Alphys, darling, what are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound, then you have to fight a monster! Well, darling, that monster is me! Metaton attacks. Yell. You yell. Nothing happened. Say goodbye! Is that your phone? You better answer it. Hey, this seems bad, but don't worry! There's uh, one thing last I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to this phone's act menu and press it. The phone's act menu is glowing. Yellow. You press the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. This is it, darling! Say goodbye! What the fuck? Why am I spinning? Now press Z! Oh, 
Oh, you've defeated me! How can this be? You were stronger than I thought, etc. Ah. Ring. Looks like you beat him. You did a really great job out there. All thanks to you. What? Oh no, I mean... You're the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly programs for your phone. Um, hey, this might sound strange, but... Can I tell you something? Before I met you, I d didn't really... I didn't really like myself. Oh, For a long time, I felt like a total screw-up. Like I couldn't do anything without... Without ending up letting everyone down. But! Guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So thanks for letting me help you. Ah, uh, anyway, we're almost to the core. It's just past the MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. Aw. Oh my god, look at how long this thing is. It was impossible. Even if I just like messed up the beginning. Oh look, it's hot dog guy. Hey hot dog guy. Wait, you're not hot dog guy, you're ice cream guy. What? A big smile. Aw, thank you. Oh, hey. We're, like, talking a rain check. Taking a rain check on that killing you thing. Like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? He seems happy. <laughs> Aw. It's over here. Oh, okay. What is this? Hey! Hey! Did you remember my name? Did you? Yes. What? You remembered? How could I be so easily defeated? I thought it was gonna give me the choice for it. Oh, Sans. Hey! Go up the creepy alleyway to the right for some great deals. Hey! I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Sure. Great, thanks for treating me. Over here. I know a shortcut. What the fuck? Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, butto. Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? Ah, uh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey. Let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. Wow. So one day, I'm knocking them out, like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock-knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who's, who is there? So, naturally, I respond, dishes. Dishes who? Dishes a very bad joke. Then she just howls with laughter. It's like the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming, and she keeps laughing, and she's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, knock knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story, but she told me to come by again, so I did. Then I did again, and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. This is Toriel, by the way. It's very obvious that, this, she, that he, uh, Sans is talking about Toriel. Then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something. Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name. But, someone who sincerely likes bad jokes. 
has an integrity you can't say no to. There are no chairs. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy? Wait, you would have killed me? Oh my god. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? <laughs> well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Because someone really cares about you. Oh no. It's a platoon of... It's some kind of TV show featuring Metaton. Hi. As I came in, I realized that I forgot to make a reservation, but I didn't want to look like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kind of consuming dew off this ficus. That's really awkward. Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order for human attacks, but now, building things, winding and confusing, it's some kind of awful tradition. You can't go ugh two feet without being up to your armpits in puzzles. I work at the core. The oh, we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, t it was today a fun day. I sure love puzzle. You are really weird. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now, my son. He wants to be a comedian like his fat, fat I don't know what that says. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. Ha ha ha. That's not funny. Since his month of whatever, he couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible. Ha ha ha. That's not funny. Okay. Oh my god. Blub blub. You'll have to reserve a table to eat here. You also need to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food, your... Okay. By the way, the other day... Whoa. Okay, so the this fucking fountain is spraying all over the floor. Anyways, the other day, after I got that recording uh, the first time, I was lying in bed, I was thinking about the game, I was like, oh yeah, it's a fun day, blah blah blah. And I was thinking about their names, like, yeah, Papyrus is named after, like, the paper, but there's also a font called Papyrus, and Sans also is a font. Then I realized, Comic Sans, and I'll give you a playthrough of what happened. I was laying in the bed, I was thinking, like, yeah, Papyrus is a funny looking font, blah blah blah. It was like, Sans is like, Comic Sans, WAIT! My eyes bolted open, and I'm like, Comic Sans, because he's funny! I was like, God damn it, even his name is a joke. <laughs>